good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hypermind Vanilla. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm over here at Port Hypermind because we're going to do a little cleanup today. So let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we're here in Port Hypermine, right in front of Town Hall. We got that beautiful structure right there. We got Voodoo Beard's house behind us. We've got a little shop right there. And then if we look over that way, we've got the whacked mole and the stables and all of that fun stuff. And then right here, smack in the middle of downtown, we've got animal farms. And then we've got agricultural farms. Yeah, we don't need that anymore. We need to hurry up and forget our humble beginnings and move all of the rural stuff out away from where we see it all the time. So let's uh, let's go take a look at what JB has done. I've shown this to you before. Let's see, can I can I get going on my on my elytra? Yes, okay, there we go. Excellent. So if we come over here, we've got these farm structures over here that JB has so kindly put together. And we've got wheat and carrots and potatoes and beetroot and then if we look over here we've got a sheep farm and then we've got a cow farm and so I asked on discord uh, whether it, anyone would mind us having uh, having all of the farms just move over to here and uh, everyone's cool with it it seems uh, as long as we've got everything accounted for from up front so I think the only thing remaining is that we need to get a little pigsty going and so that's, I think that's going to be our first order of business for this cleanup. We need to figure out where we're going to put a pigsty and, and then go from there. So let me go collect some materials and then I will pick a location and then we'll, we'll build the pigsty and then start moving some pigs over. All right. So back in a bit. All right. I have gone and gathered some of those aforementioned materials. And now I'm taking a look at some of the measurements here. So it looks like the paths are three wide and there's no side on either or, or rather either side of the barn is currently taken up. So we've got sheep over here. We got cows over here. So we can't directly put the pigs right, right beside one of the barns. So so we're going to have to come out from the barn a little bit and uh, and I'm thinking we'll go right over here. Now, it is rather noisy, so let me turn that down. You might not be thinking so much because I'm going to try and take care of that volume afterwards. But but yeah, there we go. So what I want to do is like this all the way across. There we go. Yeah. And whilst I am messing with paths i don't want the i don't want to accidentally mess up the grass or anything like that so let's just do like that give us our path yep okay so that's good so then what we're going to do is come out over like like this and i think we'll have um we'll have access to this thing uh where's the center did he make a center on that? Yeah, I think it's right in line with that block right there. Yep. Okay, so I'm kind of just winging it because uh, I didn't really have a plan other than I saw all of that mess over there at Port Hypermine and I wanted to clean it up. We got some weird... There's a weird, weird visual artifact going on right there. I don't know what that's about. Interesting. Whatever. So uh, we'll continue on like so, not right there. Um, I'm wondering, do you think we should continue the pathway out this way as well? Or do you think it'd be sufficient just to uh, stop, stop the pigsty right here? Okay, maybe continue the path like this. Yeah, like that. And then... Yeah, I think, I think that might, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Let's go one more over this way. Yeah, I think that's a more believable turn. Yeah, okay. Okay, I think that's good. And then maybe instead, maybe we have, uh, let's just close this in. And then in line with the center of this 
right in line with where the barn is. We'll put a gate there and then same thing right here. Yeah, 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 right here. Okay, and then we'll do that. Knock that guy out. And then there we go. And so we can just carry this on. Oh, I don't know for how, however long we should. We can put it right up against the uh, water thing right here. And that brings it in, in line with what we've got on the barn there. So it's kind of keeping the same design ethic, I guess, or design, design aesthetic rather. Okay. So I think that's good. And now here's the thing that you got to keep in mind with pigsties. They are a mess. Let me put, let me put some of this dirt away and let's grab some podzol and, and soul sand. And then we're going to get some of that and that, and I've got, uh, I've got some bone meal. We've got a zombie nearby. Can you hear it? I was going to try and bring in some of these other design things, but I think we're going to pass on adding additional detail. It would not work with, do we need to yet? It's not quite, it's not quite nighttime, but um, it, if I put in different detail, it would take away from what JB has gone here. I'm trying to work within those parameters. So let's come over here. We want to give the pigs a, a little bit of a water trough, maybe maybe right here okay and then trap doors like so and now i know in the regular vanilla texture pack this is going to look a little different that's fine i've gone back to using the bwo texture pack because we are back in port hypermine and so that's uh, that's the name of the game when we're at the witch farm we're in faithful 32 and in port hypermine we're going to be in the bwo texture pack or rather if we're anywhere other than the witch farm so in case you're wondering about that, yeah, so that's that's what we're doing there. So uh, one one other thing I wanted to make note of is that last time, uh, it was about a couple weeks ago now, I missed a week because, uh, well, things uh, I had a rather large project over there at the Witch Farm and I ran out of time. If you're watching me on Twitter, you may have seen some uh, some of that uh, go on. So if you if you aren't following me on Twitter. Um, well, this is a little plug for it. You'll you'll be able to catch uh, some of the uh, things going on, some of the news before it occurs. So um, I didn't necessarily want to do that. Let's do that there. Okay. So at this point, I need to I'm I'm getting rid of all the grass so that we can then fill it back in with uh, other other textures. Okay. So. If you aren't following me on Twitter, then you may not be up to date. So why did I miss? Well, we had a friend come over and I hadn't quite finished up the project for the week. But, uh, you know, friends take precedence over recording time. That's just how it goes. And that's the way it's always going to go. So in case you were wondering, um, can can we can't we can't do that? Can we? No, we can't. Can we? Let's let's see. Can we? do this and then put down the gate no interesting okay so you can't put a path under a gate that that doesn't make sense to me so yes we had a friend come over and uh, spend the night and uh and so there we go so we couldn't uh couldn't quite record because i wanted to spend time with him and uh and just uh chat and see how life is going and all that so that's the way that's the way it's going to go. I guess we'll put some soul sand around there. Yes, the pigs are going to get stuck in it. It's kind of a quagmire, but that's the thing. They they tend to uh, they, they tend to make a mess. Okay, so we'll put some pods all around that as well. Right, right. You with me so far? Are you you picking up what I'm putting down? Okay, and we'll do that and kind of just just spam it around a little bit. We got plenty of pods all from when we were preparing the spawn area up by the iron farm. So now I think what we will do is come back in with grass blocks. Also, if you're wondering, if you look in my inventory and you just saw what happened there, I've got inventory tweaks on, which gives some 
some extra benefits. It's a client side mod. So if you're not cool with client side mods, I'm sorry. It's just, I like inventory tweaks. It makes things a lot easier for me. So uh, we'll do this, we'll fill this all back in. Didn't quite want that to happen. Okay. And, and there we go. Almost, almost done. And that's going to be the pigsty. And then next up, we got to go get some pigs. But let's see if we need to do anything else. How about uh, the path block every now and then? Yeah? Yep, uh, a big set of path blocks. And I think the BWO texture pack here is doing some weird things. Yeah, right there on the corner. Not the greatest, but, but yeah, I think that'll be fine. And then what we do is we'll get some bone blocks. Uh, that's probably a little too much bone meal. Yep. And then make it kind of overgrown around here. So no flowers. We don't want any of that. No, no, no. Go bye-bye. Okay, and I think I think that's good. They're going to be trampling it. Maybe not around the, the doorway, but maybe, uh, maybe around this area. They're not going to have any grass. Maybe back here there's... There's some, and maybe this side isn't so, um, so full. Okay, and then let's come back through here, and then return this to a little bit more of a, uh, maybe not pristine, but it, it's clear that this thing was, um, was cleared earlier. So yeah, let's just do that, and I think, I think we're good. Maybe a little bit more. All right, so. That is the pigsty for now. Let me go, let me put this stuff away and I'll be back once we're pulling some pigs from Port Hypermine. All right, we are back. I'm over here at, at Port Hypermine. We're going to make sure that we grab at least two of these. And I know Alvin Ackers, you say, don't touch the pigs. Uh, I'm moving them. Okay. I'm moving them. I'm not, I'm not killing them or anything like that. Well, ones that don't quite follow, they may not have quite the same fate as and I've lost a few okay are you guys gonna come okay maybe maybe okay yeah so this is the fun part we're just going to drag these guys along and I've already lost a lead that's fine that's fine okay we can get started with four is that yeah, yeah, we should be able to get by with four. Um, over here. Oh, I've already lost another one. This is not good. Come on, buddy. Come on. No? Okay. Okay. This may be a little more difficult than I, I originally thought. I probably should have brought some more leads. Let's come on this way. We're down to three. I need to just get at least two back to our pigsty. Okay. Yep. And that's one of the neat things about having the carrot able to go in the offhand. It means that we can keep their attention a little bit better. But yeah, I, I still got three. Okay. Okay, good. Good. We can at least get that, get the whole herd started back again. And let's just go this way. We're going up some more stairs. And we still got the three. Excellent. And then this way. Yeah, let's go this way. Okay. Good. All right. And uh, yeah, so... Oh, 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 I've almost lost. I'm down to two. Uh-oh. It's all on you guys. Okay. Okay, we'll see if we can get both of these guys back into their new home. And then we'll start the process up. And then I'll see if I can go grab some of the others. Okay. Come back here and some cows have escaped. Okay. And get our lead. All right. Now, carrot. And there you go. All right. I will see if I can go get some more pigs back over here. Otherwise, well, you know what's going to happen. All right. Back in a bit. All right, well, I've got the new pigsty up and running. That means we can move this out of the way, clean this out. And it also means... Sorry, sorry, but we are we're cleaning house. It is time to get rid of the animals here. So, yep, you know what's coming. Yep. 
Yep, so there goes the original pig sign. We'll do some landscaping and whatnot, but I'm going to clear out the rest of these guys as well. And you know what that means? We've got the griller. Well, it was the griller. I lost the griller in an unfortunate accident a while back, but we've got this. Sharpness 5, fire aspect, looting. Yep. I'll be right back. You know, I probably should have brought you back a little bit earlier than this to showcase or tell you what I was going to do next, but I kind of just got into cleanup mode, and there we have it. Okay, so all of the farming area is done. Man, I'm, my inventory is going to be a mess. And what we're going to do here, rather than trying to uh, stomp on all of these, I'm just going to get rid of, uh, get rid of the water source, and that will take care of our... A problem there. Do we have torches? Yes. Okay. All right. So that's that. What's under there? Crafting table. Okay. That's cool. That's a good idea. And we'll put all of this in here. I'm just kind of throwing all of this stuff wherever it can go. But that is going to take care of the farming area right there. And now it comes time for, well, I need to get more materials and we're going to start dressing this up in here. I don't have any ideas for buildings at the moment, but we can certainly do some landscaping and maybe not so much right there, but I, I need to I need to tie in Albanacker's Hill right there to the rest of this and see if we can, uh, I don't know, do something like that uh, with that and, and see what we can do right there. So uh, let me go grab some more materials and I will be back in just a moment. And we are back and it's time to show off a little bit of the progress. I decided to not just leave this bear over here, came in, brought a path, and then we've got steps up so you don't have to jump. Just threw some bone meal down to make this look like, uh, maybe it's a little park or something. I don't know. We've, we've cleaned this up behind Voodoo Beard's house, so it'll be a little bit quieter for him. Uh, flushed out some of this, uh, this dirt here to make it look like it goes in with the path pretty well. Uh, over here, same thing, just threw down some bone meal, put up a couple trees, and then let's see what else. Well, um, I had intended on doing a, a time lapse for you, but it just didn't seem quite quite enough. I don't know. It just I, I wasn't at this long enough to to do that. So uh, I'm just kind of showing you around here to let you know what what uh, what's changed. So um, over here, I extended out the hill next to Albanacker's house here. And then over here, I took took this path down to the waterway. So we've got a nice little nature path that you can take just to get away from the hustle and bustle, like a little central park in the middle of the area here. I brought down that hillside right there as well. And then over here, I didn't know quite what to do with this. There wasn't really enough room to make a hill and still keep this bridge believable. So I went ahead and uh, I'm I'm sorry. So Albanackers, if you want to, feel free to take this down. It's just, it seems more believable to have a retaining wall here than just a flat wall of dirt. So uh, I brought that in and made it match our road system right here. So we're using the spruce logs and uh, well, a mixture of the stone textures and whatnot. So uh, one thing I was also looking at uh, that's pretty much it right there. Just a little bit of cleanup. Got rid of those farms. Got rid of the farms over there. And while I was over at the new farm complex over this way, uh, I started grabbing some of these chorus fruits. And I came to a conclusion here that uh, it's rather annoying to harvest these things. So if you want to make sure that you don't run out of, of those flowers, you have to, well... You have to jump up, hit those things, and then make sure you get them all by the time everything can possibly uh, despawn. So what I was thinking is it would be cool if we could come in here with, say, uh, just a, a standard, what what are those? Uh, flowers, flowers, of course, flowers, right? Let's pop that off. And yes, chorus flowers. So Let's see if we can work out a little bit of a chorus flower farm uh, right over here. And in case you haven't seen those, pretty simple to do. Um, I'm just going to throw something down, maybe down in here somewhere. And uh, 
Yeah, it's going to take me a little bit to get all that situated, but I will do that. And then I'll bring you back once, once I've got it and explain what's going on. Back in a bit. And we're back. It's time for the moment of truth. Let's just throw down some of these chorus flowers here. I think this is how you're supposed to do it. I probably should have looked this up before I started recording this clip, but I think that's how we did it. Now we just kind of wait. But, uh, but yeah, let's take a look at the design while we're doing this. I continued the overall design. Yep, okay, so that's doing that. All right, so uh, there's no in-stone stairs or slabs or any other variant of it, just in-stone brick. That's fine for now. Hopefully they can fix that in the future. It'd be nice to have uh, a stair right there, something like that. But here we go, just uh, purple stairs going down into purple columns. And that mimics roughly, it's a rough approximation because there's a little bit more space required for each of these. I didn't want people knocking their heads so much when they're coming around to take care of this. So the way this thing works is that this keeps the flowers down low enough that you can come along and just hit them with your ax without having to climb up and stack jump and do all that stuff over there. So here's where we can farm the flowers that make it so that we don't have to worry so much about coming over here and harvesting these flowers. So uh, hopefully that is a useful service to the rest of the server. And and yeah, so that project is done. We've cleaned up the Port Hypermine area. We've got the animals moved out over here near the barn. And we've got, well, a little bit more of an addition to our farming area. So I would call that a success. So that's what we're gonna do today. So uh, let's just throw through that and turn around like so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed a like is always appreciated and if you haven't done so already think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on the channel that's going to be it for now thanks so much for watching and we will see you next time bye bye